He gets to age 22. The guy has clearly progressed since age 18 to a significant extent. And then somehow he ends up blowing that out of the water once he gets to age 25. And then he progresses even more significantly. And then just becomes like a golden era of house by the end of it. And literally undergoes metamorphosis into the diesel Texan himself, Diesel Josh. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreleads.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on Diesel Josh, Joshua Taubes or Tobes or fuck, I have no idea. So <laughs> this guy has, uh, you know, been the focus of many natty or not discussions because he claims lifetime natural. Now, you know, he sort of falls into that camp of guy who you would think there's no fucking discussion even... <laughs> in any capacity it's just like okay you're a fucking flat out liar that's what most people would jump to the assumption of lately um greg did a video on joshua a while back actually and then Philion did a response to greg basically saying how he's wrong about his assessment about diesel josh even though greg literally said he doesn't actually know and he's 50 50 on it and then greg made a response video to the Philion response <laughs> And uh, so I'm responding to the response of the fucking response, guys. You know, YouTube, uh, that's how the YouTube world works. So anyways, basically Greg outlines in this video how the clarification on he was 50-50. He never said one way or the other. I don't know. I said it's 50-50. 50-50. All Greg do said is wrong. The kind of argument that Philion was making was that it's, you're going to never find a guy with this body composition that is natural. Who are you trying to fool, buddy? Has anyone in my comment section or any of my viewers worked out? Do you think you can get this big naturally? And I can understand why you would say such a thing, but like when you're actually looking at the weight, you know, it starts to be a bit more uh, iffy. And that is sort of where the conflict of opinion lies and how much lean body mass this guy holds. And if it really is fucking po humanly possible to walk around naturally with this much tissue. So then the comparison is brought up between, um, um quinton who is a genetic specimen of a human compared to diesel josh and kind of just outlining how a lot of the top ifbb pros if they were in fact natural they would likely be walking around with similar body composition or actually better body composition than i, I keep calling him diesel josh fucking josh tobes I'm never gonna say this name right anyways so is it possible this guy is just natural and could otherwise, you know, hop on the Sazul and probably step on a open, like non-drug tested uh, IFBB stage and just like start nuking people? It's possible. Do I think it's likely? No. And I understand where the hesitancy is to make a concrete statement about whether this guy is natural or not, because with his height and his weight it, it, and where he started off from, this kid was a fucking freakazoid. Like this was him at 14 years old, six months after lifting. Like, have you ever seen a four? This looks like the like myostatin deficient kids that you see in like those fucking, those when they are talking about like Belgian blues and shit. And they're talking about myostatin deficiencies and people who could become like world champion power lifters, bodybuilders, strongmen, etc. You know, this is like the kind of shit they look like when they're young and have just started lifting. Like most people after years of lifting are never gonna look like this, let alone when they're 14 years old. So I can see where the hesitancy is to come up with a definitive statement because the physique certainly looks unnatural as fuck. However, this is him 18 years old lifting for four years. Now, what is the probability that after four years of lifting from 14 years old and getting to this point, that you would continue to transform and end up at this point a handful of years later. Like this is the transformation in question, 14 years old to 18. So in this time span, I don't know how many pounds difference that is because there's probably a height difference involved too, perhaps. Then from there, four years later, he looks like this. And then three years after that, this is where all of a sudden he's added what appears to be another 20 to 30 pounds of lean tissue on top of his 18 year old foundation, which had already been lifting for four years, mind you. So I can understand where like this guy starts to be questionable because it's like, there are some people who do look 
certainly unnatural who are actually natural, but it's like so genetically differentiated from the average person who looks like a freak. Like there's the freaks that are drug built. And then there are guys who are actually like natural foundationally solid in that if they took drugs, these would be the guys who would hyper respond and become, you know, top 10 Mr. Olympia competitors. And this guy, <laughs> probably if this was him natural right now, I think if he got on shit, <laughs> he'd probably be an Olympia contender for sure. Like, look at this guy. If this was natural, that would be, this was four years ago too. Like, let me fucking find some recent shots. So this was him in a bodybuilding competition, 2016, the Steve Stone classic, classic 2016. Um, this is the most muscular and something notable is how genetically dominant this guy's arms are. So the rest of his physique, it's like, he's fucking built, dude. He's fucking diesel Josh. Like he's a diesel dude. So it's not like the rest of his physique is unimpressive. It's just that he has overpoweringly massive arms, almost like Arnold to the point where it like disproportionately makes his physique more genetically blessed than it is because frankly, guys are very impressed by arms. Like when you see these arms, these look so hyperinflated and super compensated and fucking saucy. You would not even begin to think there's no way this guy isn't on shit if he looks this much better than I do. <laughs> like, just to be fucking frank. So, over the years, his physique has, you know, continued to progress even after that uh, stagnation. Well, not he didn't stagnate at 18. He just keep, kept blowing through his fucking progress. And, uh... His foundation never really was a foundation because he just kept progressing like linearly for about a decade from what it looks like. Now, granted, again, his 14 year old baseline was fucking absurd. No one has that. But again, even guys on gear, 99% of them aren't going to look like this too. So that has to play into the context too. Like this is age eight. <laughs> like that's fucking, I guess that's sort of relevant if we're looking at his genetics. But again, 16, I'll be honest that this 16 year old pick doesn't seem as impressive to me as the 14 year old one did not that he was bigger in the 14 year old one but just the angle you would have thought he'd be bigger by 16 at this point so for me this one almost further reinforces my stance that this guy is saucy that that is my stance like for this guy to go from age 14 looking like this visible abs already got some good separation has some mass on him to go from the 14 year old one to the 16 year old one like i don't know what is that like 20 pounds like i, I don't really know and then from there now from that to this at 18 like that looks like natural like good genetics maybe maybe you could argue at 22 he was still natural maybe in my opinion like you went from remember this is 14 Going to 16 here, where all of a sudden the traps are popping. He's got some good mass on him now. You can see the arm fucking 3D-ness coming in. Like, he obviously has the arm. He has, like, fucking Phil Heath-esque arms. Not as, no, obviously not as good. But I mean, like, that round, like, hyper-inflated look that just looks fucking absurd. Um, and then from 16, he gets to 18 here. And it's like... At this point, you know, obviously you're not going to be plateauing to the extent as a guy in his 20s would be after four years of strict diet and training and whatnot, but you're going to be, you're getting there, dude. And by his early 20s, like, I can't imagine you could explain him progressing past this point naturally anymore. So, you know, he gets to age 22. The guy has clearly progressed since age 18 to a significant extent. And then somehow he ends up blowing that out of the water once he gets to age 25 and then he progresses even more significantly and then just becomes like a golden era fucking house by the end of it and literally undergoes metamorphosis into the fucking diesel Texan himself, Diesel Josh. So um, <laughs> for, uh, for me to speculate that this guy can be natural, I can get on board with the idea that this guy is an extreme genetic outlier and there may be some chance that he's a hyper elite that could otherwise, you know, get on gear and probably start like blowing some dudes out in, on open bodybuilding pro stages. That's certainly in the realm of possibility. I just think personally how developed this guy's physique has become even since age 22 where he had already been lifting for eight years consistently and had made a giant amount of progress to me it's just really hard to believe that he kept progressing past that point like i would have think 
Like a lot of these YouTubers that are like verifiably natural, or at least you would, you know, are not verifiably, but you're like, you're pretty damn sure are probably natural. You see a very blatant like cutoff in their progress. And then for the rest of their YouTube careers, even though they've literally dedicated their lives to fitness and to like having a decent enough physique to promote their, you know, training programs, their natural fucking training splits and blah, blah, blah. They stay stagnant for like fucking ever, dude. Like, I'm not gonna say any of these people are natural, but guys, just as an example, like Vitruvian physique, I think he is. Like, that's an example of like a, like a peaked natural, in my opinion. Jeff Nippard, perhaps, you know, that might be an example. Like these kind of guys, they're like, you see their progress up for like the first three to four years. It's just accelerated, amazing, great, fucking sick gains. Then all of a sudden it hits like a cement wall. And then from there, they're eking out like one to two pounds a year for the rest of their lives. So for Diesel Josh to gain 50 pounds of lean muscle from age 14 to 22, and then since that point, gain another 20 to 30 pounds of lean tissue, to me, sort of screams Sazul, you know? So I have a very hard time believing this guy is natural. I could be wrong though, dude. Like again, his body weight is not so high that it's completely out of the question. Like again, 210, 10 to 12% is not so unreasonable that it would be like, there's no fucking way. And you have to keep in mind, he has disproportionately good body parts that make his entire physique look bigger. Like this guy looks in some shots like he's got to be fucking 230 plus pounds. Like this does not look like 210 to me. This looks like 225 plus to me. And a lot of that is, you know, it's some of its angle, some of its lighting, some of its being lean, some of its having fucking Arnold arms. But at the end of the day, my speculation is not natural like i see this it's not just seeing this it's just it's more so seeing the progress over the years hitting that you know eight years of training and then somehow exploding another 30 pounds above that like to me i just can't wrap my head around it so i would say you know i again like maybe greg was 50 50 Philion's more like 100 and zero <laughs> i'm more like I'm more like 90-10 on this guy. Probably like, realistically, I'm like 95-5 on this guy. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I saw a bunch of people before commenting, uh, you know, that Phil was like the, it was like, one of my videos, it was like the judge, the jury, and the executioner, and it was like us three, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. So I thought, why not put that in the title? It might be, uh, it might be funny, might catch the algorithm, and uh, we can talk about this fucking house of a human known as the reincarnation of the fucking diesel, Josh, or uh, Taubes, however the fuck you say it. So let me know what you guys think. Comments down below, much appreciated. Help the algorithm, like, subscribe, check out my blog, blah, 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 blah. Follow me on Instagram, all the other places. If you wanna support the channel, check out my TRT clinic, anything else I'm associated with, Gorilla Mind Nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode pre-workout formulas, lab test panels, if you wanna assess your health, imbalances or deficiencies you may have that need addressing, or you just want a general health assessment, from somebody who actually understands endocrinology, how to interpret uh, different biomarkers and whatnot, and uh, anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.